Yo, what's up guys, it's Veda and I'm back with another Tekken video. This time I'm going to do something a little bit different. I actually thought that I would go back and revisit uh, some of the older Tekkens that I've got still on my Xbox One, like Tekken 6 and Tekken Tag. But I thought I'd uh, show you guys some Tekken 6 gameplay. And the reason for doing this is because I've been watching a lot of the main man sweep and he's just been like showing like uh, like the characters and like the other games and stuff, like the, the classic games like Tekken 1, 2, 3 and like stuff like that. So I just thought I'd give like my own take on that, like showing you guys obviously right now as you're seeing I'm playing as Jin against a Bruce. And yes, there is a lot of people still playing Tekken 6 and Tekken Tag for that matter. But like I said, I'm just going to focus on Tekken 6 Jin right now. So, what made Tekken 6 Jin a uh, 50, like a 50 50 kind of character, in my opinion, is he has the stance, but you can't, what's it called, get much out of the stance in this one. Not like how it is in Tekken Tag, where like he's got the stance into like the two punches, like you can like do the knee combo into the, into what's it called, sand stance into uh, one, two. That sort of stuff, he's not got that in this one. He does have San in the one, two, but you can't obviously do the like, you can't obviously chain any a combo with like the knee. You only can do a Savage Sword, which is still pretty cool. It's still pretty cool. And some of the combos that you're seeing right now are my own take, should I say. Good parry there as well. I've played this guy a, a bunch of times as well. He's got a really good Bruce. I think he's got a Kazi as well. I think it was yeah, it was like Kazi and like Bob and stuff that he had. Something that I like about Tekken Six as well is like the customization as well. I think the customization in Tekken Six is like the best that I've ever got. Tekken Tag had it as well. It was really good at that, but. Uh, Tekken 6 had it much more better than uh, Tekken Tag. Don't get me wrong, Tekken uh, Tag had uh, decals and stuff, but I'm just not really like the outfits and stuff. You could of course change the colours of the outfits in Tekken Tag, which was cool, unlike in Tekken 6, where you have to like, buy multiple uh, colours, like variations of the, the outfits and the colours. But yeah, getting back to uh, Jin in Tekken 6, I actually really didn't mind Jin in Tekken 6, I wouldn't say he was bad, he was probably really low tier, I, thought, I, don't, I don't really know the tiers in Tekken 6, but I can imagine that Jin was really really low tier in that, he didn't have like, a lot of moves that uh, could like win like tournaments and stuff. At least to my knowledge, I can't really remember if I saw him be using a uh, Tekken 6 gen in like, the tournaments back then. Because I know that uh, a lot of people use Devil Gen in Tekken 6, and Devil Gen is just insane in Tekken 6. He's like, insane in all of them. I think he was much better in Tekken uh, Tag, if I'm honest, but he's good in Tekken 7 as well. But yeah, just Jin in this one uh, didn't have any tools at all. You could mix them up by like doing the uh, what's it called? The little stance cancels and stuff, like just canceling the stance to make them think you're gonna do the, like the low speed but mix it up and stuff. By the way, something that I should have mentioned at the start of the video, I'm actually using it from the replay because when I actually record a match on this, uh, it could actually affect the match itself so that the opponent could be uh, like a two bar or something and obviously that's why I'm recording it because I don't want to lag as much. The next fight that I do have against this Kazi I play it's a 2 bar. That's why my moves are 
getting whiffed about and stuff. I was actually a nice pair for there, I remember. I remember that and I'm like, why the fuck did I do that? The only strong thing about, uh, what's it called, Jin in uh, Tekken 6 and of course like Tekken 5 as well. Yeah, I'd say Tekken. More, more or less Tekken 6 and 5. Uh, the fact that Jin actually had the parry, he played parry and stuff. And he had like much better teams in this one. Like uh, back, uh, back two one. That was that's a really useful two one. This one. Uh, so you can punish a, you can actually punish a death thing. And he had these, I think. Forward forward two. You can punish that. Yeah. yeah, like I said, I did play Jin a lot back then when. Uh, Tekken 6 first came out, I did play him a lot. And he was, yeah, he was considered one of my mates in Tekken 6. He still is my main. Like, he's been my main since Tekken 3. But in Tekken uh, 6, I prefer to use Law. Jin's still around. Jin's really fun to use. Just don't use him in uh, 3 bar. Oh, sorry, two bar. Because you will get fucked up. I don't understand why it's back in the room, but Jesus. That's something as well that I miss about the older pets as well as I can go like back room and like get a, a combo off on them even in a back room. That's why, yeah, what's it called? Back. One such a good move as well. Back row caption. They changed that uh, speed move to like the move that they're all familiar with from Tekken 5 and Tekken uh, 7. Where it's like a, a high kick that he does. I feel like you press it, uh, press it. Uh, Sorry, four to uh, twice and do like the mid kick with the like put them at a crumple state. You get a combo out of that after the go off of that. It's kinda of like that. I think I think the move's called heat. That move's called heat seeker. It's a really good cope to play pressure to as well because you don't, the opponent doesn't know if you're actually going to continue it, like continue the speed, which is really cool as well, because that's what you want, you want them to think you're going to like, be able to do the mid kick of the speed, you might just continue in the front. Can't obviously do the the two punches after that knee. Punch. Um, low kick. <laughs> I just love all the wind poses as well in this uh, in Tekken 6. Obviously because it's just the same as what they did in Tekken 5, but obviously with like different ones. Drama Sura. Yeah, this is the casual guy. a lot of stuff that you can't uh, 
get away with in this one with Jin. Like you saw me try to catch them with the knee, but the knee's just shit for stuff like that. That's parry. Yeah, there's something I found funny about this guy, he's, uh, he's comboing, those were quite weird. Sweet, but fucks up his combo because obviously it's lagging as well. You can't obviously like see the two bar on like the right side of the screen. He always goes for that the one two four. He always goes for that. Like I said, after this video is done, I'm going to be doing a what's it called Titan Tag Tournament Two. Uh, and I might use uh, what's it called, Dragon Off and Jin. I've just been experimenting a lot as well with like, different characters as well, but I still play Tekken Tag just for like experiment and with like different characters and stuff. And just because Tekken Seven Rank is it's not dead, but I just can't I just can't seem to find a match when I'm using Jin. I do use Jin, I get like against the uh, lower ranked people than what I actually am. I just keep spamming at this point. That's something as well that I. Uh, I hated about the other Titans was the grabs and like try to like what's it called uh tech them. Yeah, tech them. Or break them should I say. That's just something that I always hated because even like in like a three bar connection or a four bar connection, you still wouldn't be able to take a throw. And it's impossible to do it in what's it called a, a two bar, let me just say that much. in there, try and run in. Yeah, that's that. See, it's just weird stuff like that and then, yeah, tea bags me. I'm just like, me, you're playing Tekken 6. I just find that funny that the tea bag after they get a win in like, a game that's been out for like, yeah, about 10 years now. Round one. Fight. Yeah, yeah, Tekken 6 came out in 2009. But yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, the Mortal Kombat video that I put up as well. I'm going to try and uh, get some more uh, gameplay on that as well. Not sure if I'll do ranked. In fact, I will be ranked. But I don't uh, know who will uh, play for it. So yeah, as you can see there, the 2-1 is such a, sorry, back 2-1 is such a, it's such a good uh, whiff punishing move because you just whiff, they just whiff a move and then you just punish with that. After in range of course. That's something that I, I thought was quite weird about this guy. He threw out a lot of health sweeps.
I mean, I don't mind hell sweeps, but if you're doing them that often and it's in a three bar connection, then sorry, a two bar connection, then yeah, it's it's quite annoying because it's hard to actually like see them coming. The only reason I can see them coming is because he keeps doing them. I think I guess right here with one. See, he just keeps on doing random shit. And I might do you a job or not. Chill the fuck out. <laughs> So I sidestep from there. And he gets me there, but damn it. If I never attacked him as much there, I would have actually have waited for him to hang me, but I was just. Oh, I was just... Wins. Round four. Just too engulfed in the moment, should I say. I mean, it is refreshing to see Akazia being played on Tekken 6. But then you're like, oh, why not just play Tekken 6? See, I just completely lost that there. And you'll see me doing the, what's it called, the Zan, not Zan cancel there. See? That's basically back one to use that. But then you, to cancel out of it, you just press forward. It's actually a good pressure tool as well when you're at the wall because you don't know what you're going to do after it, which is really cool. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this little look back on uh, Tekken 6 Gen. If you want to see more videos like this, like Tekken 6, uh, just leave it in the comments and I'll get back to you. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching and take care. Cheers, guys. Bye.